Hello, my name is Peyton Owens. I'm an advisor of Nature's Formula Products. This is a presentation that Nature's Formula has put together about their fertilizer called BioSure Grow. BioSure Grow is an all natural liquid microbial fertilizer. And here is a quote from Dr. Rick Haney, who is a soil scientist, and this is just some food for thought for you. Quote, it has long been thought organic nitrogen in the soil is not available to the plant. If this were true, then there would have been no plant growth at all prior to the invention of synthetic fertilizer. End quote. So the products that Nature's Formula offers is BioSure Grow is their fertilizer, and then there's a plus B additive that will help control insects, and then there's also a plus M additive for mold control. And here is the guaranteed analysis of BioSure Grow. Uh, BioSure Grow is a chelated fertilizer, so that's why these numbers appear to be really small, but they are more bioavailable than most of your synthetic fertilizers would be. As you can see, it is derived from manure, peat moss, and humus. So how much does it cost? BioSure Grow on purchases of 55 gallons or more costs $15 per gallon. If you get it with the plus B additive added, it, you add $3 per gallon. And if you get it with the plus M additive added, you add $4 per gallon. So with both additives added, you would come out to $22 per gallon. How do you utilize BioSure Grow? BioSure Grow can be used as a full standalone fertilizer, as a seed treatment, as a starter fertilizer, as foliar treatment, or as a chemical penetration enhancer. In 2019, there was a comparative study done on corn and soybeans on a farm in Nebraska comparing synthetic fertilizer versus BioSure Grow. Within both studies, you can see the A is the normal or the check, which is the synthetic fertilizer. And then the B for both is two gallons of BioSure Grow. And the C is only 1.25 gallons of BioSure Grow. Elamite is just a mineral powder that is was added on this farm. Uh, Nature's Formula does not sell elamite, but it was just added to give these nutrients to the soil that you can see they're listed out. But it is not required when using BioSure Grow. So on the soybean study, you can see the check was 100 pounds an acre of 1152O and a full rate of herbicide. The high rate of BioSure Grow, you can see it's two gallons with 250 pounds of elamite and then only one third the rate of herbicide. And then the low rate, as you can see, is 1.25 gallons of BioSure Grow, 250 pounds an acre for elamite and one third the rate of herbicide still. And here is a breakdown analysis of the soybean cost per acre. You can clearly see that letter A, which is a synthetic fertilizer, has a substantially higher cost per acre when compared to both letters B and C, which is the BioSure Grow applications. So how did BioSure Grow do in comparison? Well, on the soybeans, you can see that the yield was pretty much the same all the way across the board. Really didn't matter. And the stand count was pretty close to the same, but the BioSure Grow did outperform just a little bit there. And here is a map of the field. 
and that would be the top is C and the, that one is B and then the bottom one there is A and you can see what the rest of the field did that I don't know what it had on it but in the red areas on the map are supposed to be lower lying areas that would have got flooded a little bit during the growing season. So the winner on return on investment is pretty easily letter C, the low amount of BioSure grow. You can see the price per acre there compared with the gross and then that all broken down to the revenue per acre there on the right. Now on to the corn side of the study. Here it's the same, there's a check and you can see it had 100 pounds an acre of 11.52 O, 120 pounds per acre of 32 O and a full rate of herbicide. And then again, there's a high rate with two gallons of BioSure Grow and a low rate of 1.25 gallons of BioSure Grow, the same amount of elamite added and only one third the rate of herbicide. And here is the analysis of the corn cost per acre. You can clearly see that the check letter A has the highest cost per acre with the BioSure Grow's cost being substantially lower per acre. So how did we do in comparison on corn? Well, not as good. You can see the yields there. Uh, the synthetic fertilizer was 192 and both BioSure Grows B and C was right at 137. And you can see the stand counts are pretty close to the same as well. Then here is the field of that corn. That is the synthetic fertilizer part of the field. And here is where the BioSure Grow was added. And that red area is where it was flooded at during the growing season. This is the lower lying area of the field. And you can see there are a couple places where it was a little higher. That BioSure Grow was at it. And those yields were pretty comparable to the other part of the field that would use the synthetic and has more yellow within it. But still, even with those low yields, well, who's the winner on return on investment? You can see the price per acre breakdown there of each one, as well as the gross revenue per acre from the corn, and or the gross amount, excuse me, and then the revenue there on the right. And still, they're all pretty comparable, but the low BioSure grow still outperformed, outdid everything. So then here's just some photos. Like I said, it, the BioSure Grow can be applied in furrow or with aerial or ground applicator or even applied with fertigation through your irrigation system. And this is the plus B additive added to soybeans controlling a thistle caterpillar. And when an insect takes a bite of the plant that had the mic had the plus B additive added to it, which is a microbe that the plant will uptake. The insect takes a bite and the microbe will kill the insect. And this works great for control of earworms on your corn. So this was one application at planting in furrow. That's an extra three dollars an acre. That is pretty cheap insect control. Works well on grasshoppers. Plus B controls stem borers and soybeans. And here are some pictures of other insects that Plus B helps to control. 
the only insect so far we have found that it really hasn't had an effect on is spider mites. But other than that, it has been working great for all your other kind of insects. And here is just some pictures. This would be of soybeans that had the BioSugar applied to it. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of corn on the left without it and corn on the right with BioSure Grow. And, and I'll let you decide which one you think looks better. So at the end of the day, the question I have is would this be solving a problem for you on your farm? The biggest problem I see within the industry is the high cost of inputs so would you be eliminating a cost? Could you be eliminating a costly or hard to execute process? And does this positively impact your return on investment? Many farms right now are struggling just to break even. If you are able to take control of your input cost and lower those input costs while still producing a healthy and productive crop, how much easier would it be to actually have a good return per acre on your crops? If you're interested in learning more about BioSure Grow, please contact me and I look forward to speaking with you. Thank you.